peace, love, and centeredness, as always. The cause of long-term mental suffering is not the negative actions that cause the initial suffering. It's the long-term thought that what is taking place, the negativity taking place, shouldn't be happening to us. When in reality, it is happening because it is supposed to be happening. So I say this also, as even many with awakening eyes, having been looking at this from a long-term perspective, for a very long time, yeah, we may perceive, why are other people doing this? Why can't they see what I can see? Let's protest about it, let's do this, let's do that. When in reality, you are embarking upon a plane of growth, a plane of growth, and that which cannot see what you can see is embarking upon a plane of death, truth. So, as I've been saying for a very, very long while now, there are different matter planes that are subtle and translucent the actions of beings, negative actions, and align with, a demon doesn't necessarily have to be negative, but in the matter plane, it, it, we, 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 it, you're going to find that demon behavior is alignment with deep density, which doesn't take into account feelings, because it doesn't, just generally doesn't have much love because love is operating on a much higher octave, a much lighter frequency, a much lighter pitch and tone. Yep. So denser matter resides within heavy debris. These debris, if you look at something like, if, if, you know, from you're looking at um, exercising the ghost and shell, we're speaking about Haram Mabif, and we're speaking about King Solomon, we're speaking about being buried in Solomon's temple. Now, being buried in debris, now the jack of the jack of diamonds carries a cant hook to cut away denser matter, but it's not denser matter that we can visibly see. So many of the beings that are walking around, yeah, are choosing to be in alignment with service to self action. It isn't just the beings that we see externally to us that have been put on a stage in front of us that are causing the issue. It is the long-standing debt which must be paid because regardless of what we think, there are universal laws that are in place and they work with imperfect harmony and they are working in perfect harmony now. So we are getting, we are reaping what we are sowing, right? It's all cause and effect. This is how it takes place. So what is happening now has to take place but at the same time there are many other angles to it at the same time so there are agendas at play that in, uh, reinforce it but if you take the word covid you will find the word cover inside of it so it is a cover-up because you are in a constant distraction yep we've constantly been distracted now scripture will tell us that none is righteous christ story christ right a story yeah about a force a force a centering force yeah it will tell you there that none is righteous you are all fall down below the demons vampires and the gnomes this is just like the matrix movie yeah but this is how you enter the matrix right and it is it is for then each individual soul to then rise up that has not happened has it this is the current manifestation of the scenario where much work has not been achieved yeah through manipulation and so on and so forth but at the same time it is also a natural byproduct of nature when we fall into the, into a physical plane such as this one there is much work to be done in order to rise up to be reunited yep yeah, because these four the four the four elements right elements of nature have to be brought to light, brought to life on the five points of contact 
by the soul. So when we are, the, when beings go into the street and they shout, why are they doing this? this right, this is a situation that is, that is going to take place. Yeah. Now, when you look at, I never look at dates, neither. Last year there was something that was meant to happen. It's a, there is no time. So the motion of the, the splitting of the planes is already taking place. What you may think is a year or a particular date, yeah, may only just be a marking point. What you think is a year, right, is only, can actually only really be a second. Because all is happening in this precise moment within this figure of eight. This is how it works. Yeah. So there were universal laws in place that state that, you know, you must gain sovereignty. You must gain faculties of your own senses. You must climb over the subtle forces of nature. You must climb over the self-ego. Yeah. You must climb above mundane intelligence to grasp transcendental intelligence. So we're working with metaphysical forces that reside outside of outside of visible light. Yeah. Yeah. These things must take place. Yeah. We must be able to expand our field. We must be able to repel denser forces. If that doesn't take place, then we become open to a a attack because we have become we are we have we have become weaker. So we are in alignment. We are in with alignment with oxidation. Pluto, yeah, an explosive fort, Hades, also in, in alignment with um, viruses. Neptune does the same thing. These things have already happened before, yeah. These scenarios have already taken place. But they are a changing of the guard. They are, we are, we, it, it, is a, it is a situation where the lamb will be seen to be dancing in the sunlight, yeah. This is how it is. Yeah, with crystallic light alignment with waters. Yeah, that which doesn't make the grade will be oxidized. Beings that understand this are manipulating that scenario and have always continually taken advantage of the fact. Yeah, that when we are when we are born into physicality, right? We are born into physicality and we are we are we are governed in this particular plane by 12 archons we are governed when we come in through Libra yeah which is the morning star and the evening star yeah which is telling you that you have your dualism when you come into matter um, the shadow is a byproduct of the light so you have you're working with darkness and light there are beings that are manipulating your truth in order to bring about this current situation your enlightenment and your wisdom is in alignment with your gender a situation like this takes place by taking us away from our truth. And a core truth is that we are being kept away from our sexual power within waters. Yeah, within waters, which then waters lead us towards a limitless light. Limit a limitless light that is not of the matter plane. I say that because it keeps us below the navel within our thought. So what happens is, beings don't realise it, but they, but they think from their sexual region and below. So that brings forth, uh, you know, the lower emotions such as, uh, uh, you know, jealousy, um, selfishness, right? And all of, all of these keep us away from this universal law that is encoded within us, right? And the beings that cause this, they don't like this, un this universal law, yeah, because it means that they're bound by, by, by it. So the things that they do and the things, the harm that they cause and the things that they want to do, uh, the, the certain depravities, etc., they, they, you don't get away with them. Nobody's, nobody's getting away with, with anything. So there are objective laws within nature which govern our physical behaviour, which govern our, our actual um, behaviour. Now, when we, when we think above the navel, yeah, when we think above the navel, and this is done through the way we conduct sex. When we think above the navel, we, we, we can't, we think of, of other, as a man, as a masculine, you begin to think of other women, other women, right, as like your mother and your sister, yeah? This is what happens. So many, in many occasions, when men and women are meeting, that's why we have the, 
the wolf whistle. Wolf whistle is carnal, yeah? So this is the reason that in many situations, it's inauthentic. Our communication with other beings is inauthentic. It's inauthentic, yeah? See, everything is working in a subtle way. And that's why people are demons. Their behavior is demonic in a subtle way because they want to put themselves above the good of all and the good of the whole in order to gain selfish gain through lust. Not just sexual lust, but lusting over material possessions and lusting over what they can own and lusting over owning the owning other people, owning other beings, yeah? Yeah, yeah, because they are thinking from their sexual region and below, right? Below, and below we have the knees, and the knees is the goat, which is the goat, which is gonna give you, which is gonna give you your lust. So you see a lot, a lot of celebrities sticking their tongue out and doing that, but this is an archetype again of the mother. It's an archetype, this would be Mother Kali, but it's a, it's a destructive force. And because we don't, there is no introspection and there is no self-reflection, at that point, what happens is, beings are constantly, constantly thinking from the lower region, which means that they're thinking from the perspective of what they can gain through loss for, from the angle of loss. That then brings in, it's based around fear and survival, right? It's based around fear and survival, yeah? And because of that, they, they, they cannot see other beings as being the same as them. They, they, they cannot see that. So the work of the soul is, 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 is everything. But it's been, de it's been defined to us as something external to us, like a, a man on a cross. But really, you're, you are to hold up your own matter cross by learning to command the, the elements of nature, the, the four, the four elements of nature then that brings forth the light, yeah? The light is the one that commands them because it's the soul, it's the soul that, that, that manifests the physical body through the mineral kingdom. This is, this is how it is working. And then there is, when, we, when, we, when we come through into Libra, into Libra, without any guidance, right? Without any guidance, without any self-reflection, without listening to that centering force, we become like, a, like we, what we are, was like puppets on the string, but you're also like a kite that's just flying. You just go whichever way the wind blows. You don't stand for anything. You stand for nothing. You stand for everything, you fall for everything. Yeah, and that's, that, that's what happens. And it's because we don't listen to that, 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 the fire light within us, the fire of consciousness that is within us, which, we, which is stemming from our sense point in our heart. And this is where the universal laws are also encoded. Yeah, yeah, live and let live. No stealing, no theft of another's rights, no theft of another's possession. Uh, uh, yeah, we should never be, be, be in a position where we, we, everybody has the right of association. Also, yeah, all of these things fall fall into play, and they're all born through through sex, through the way that we the way that we conduct ourselves sexually. If we are raising that force upwards, we then begin to think at a higher elevated level. This is what's happening when we meditate peace and love and this is this is one of the main causes of what is actually happening to us i'm going to end this video right now yeah but it's raising it up to act, raising it up to access and activate that third force a secret third force so even in a relationship between man and woman by bringing that third force into play between the two is a selfless act it's an act of selflessness yeah, that can only be embarked upon by those that are doing the work, by those that are operating by this ele by the elevated consciousness, by transcendental thought, by thinking above the navel, yeah, through that third force. So it's like, just, just finishing that, so when we go and people protest, etc., there's a game that's being played by sorcerers, and when you do that, you, you play the other part of the, of, of the dualism pole, of visuality, you play your part like a character in a movie you're playing the part that they want you to play that is what you're doing when you when you operate and when you do that you play that part yeah so when they do that they play they, 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 they you, you're playing a particular role in a movie yeah and you are playing out the the, the, the dualistic history that is being played excuse me somebody go by the by just random love it best way to be you're playing out your part in that particular movie, on that particular dual plane, where you're banging your head from one to the other, boof, 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 boof. That's why these people, you see them, these, these AI beings, one minute they hug you, next minute they could stab you in the back. And this is because these are, these are, these are polarities that are 
in alignment with this place. They're in alignment with, with, with universal laws and rules. They have to be overcome, yeah? They're polarities that have to be overcome, yeah? Which is why the King of Diamonds has a sword behind his head, yep. Has a sword behind his head, but he will shake your hand with his, other, with his right hand, he will shake your hand, and with his left hand, he will chop your head off while you're not looking, yeah? Because he's trying to gain supremacy, He's trying to gain your wealth, which is supremacy, which is which is a natural given within nature. And this is why we have to learn to overcome the denser matter planes so that we can take the reins, so that we can take the reins and gain control. So through our waters, through our sexual waters, we gain a superior enlightenment and a superior transcendental intelligence born through wisdom, peace, love and centeredness.